If this does not surprise the hell out of you, I do not know what will. Built in the 4th century, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem is Christianity's holiest site. It contains the location where Jesus is believed to have been crucified and buried. The church is shared by several ancient Christian denominations that include the Roman Catholics, Greek Orthodox, Ethiopian Orthodox, Coptics, Armenian Apostolics, and the Syrian Orthodox. But during the first 700 years since the building of the church, the various Christian factions often clashed and sometimes violently over which of them should have control of the church, especially when it came to allocating time slots for worshipping. So when the Muslim Sultan Saladin seized control of Jerusalem from the Crusaders in 1187, this problem now became his problem. So he took the keys of the church from the Christians and gave it to a neutral party to control. And that party was the Nuseba family, the oldest Muslim family in Jerusalem at the time. Having no interest in the church, Saladin judged that the Muslim family would be fair in allocating worshipping times for the various Christian groups. And guess what? To this day, 800 years later, that very same Muslim family is still the keeper of the keys and the peace to Christianity's holiest site, opening and closing the doors for worship every single day for the last 800 years.